Welcome back to the channel, folks. Welcome back, Bo Biddle. What's going on, dude? Good day, sir. Good day to you. Where are we today? I'm gonna switch sides on you. We're east. We are east. Way east. We're at uh, we're, we're at Vintage at Planet. Is Vintage where we're Planet. at. We're gonna throw their info on the screen there for y'all to get a grip, I guess, on who and where and what we're doing. What is this? This looks like straight up Americana right here. American Muscle. This is pure American, classic American muscle, Ben Barber. It looks it. All right, get out of my frame. We gotta show the car now. Wow. Okay. What year is this thing, Bobito? Talk to me. 1969 Chevrolet Camaro SS. This has a 383 stroker in it, Ben Barber. Dude, so it's got some powers. And what makes it a little bit more exciting is that on the inside, there's a four speed Dude, manual Monty transmission. This thing saved the manuals. Yes. This one, I guess this probably was one of the ones that helped build the manuals. All right, well, so this thing is awesome. And there are some other awesome cars around. We're gonna do what we normally do. We're start in the trunk. We're gonna start in the trunk. Start in the trunk. Okay, well, now, this is a little different. We This is a 1969, so we don't have We got the double buttons. keys. We got the, we hey, got at least they keys. have the little plastic around them. Okay. Ooh, heard you heard the click. <laughs> nice, okay, okay, oh, wow. Okay. Folks, you will be surprised to know. There is a ton of space. Look at that. There is, and uh, a bunch of space. Don't believe you're going to have a 60-40 split on this <laughs> car. <laughs> we hear it, it echoes. Yeah, it does echo in there. Oh. That's so weird. <laughs> Definitely does. It's like a bunch of metal. There's not a bunch of extra padding. We've got uh, cautions. Let's let's uh, take a moment to recognize. Limited slip. This okay. thing's got a limited slip, Bo Biddle. That's exciting. And it told you on the hood for some reason. Or on the trunk. That's so weird. All right, let's make our way to the engine bay or to the inside of this thing. Uh, I'm going to stand back here. Yeah, get that key. I'm going to stand back here next to these exhaust pipes. Where are the exhaust pipes on this thing, Bo? Uh, you know, Side exhaust? I don't even know where they are. Good question. Are they turned? Turn? I guess they're up, up under there. Okay, here we go. One there, one there. Come okay, yeah, they are angled down. And as you guys are looking underneath, you can see this thing is extremely, extremely clean. All right. Did you see the, in, we're not going to get the interior. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Let's hear the thing start up. We got, we were, we're always about making sure to, to hit the main points and start up is one of them. God, the interior does look pretty amazing. I can't wait to check it out. Uh, again, this is an old car, so it may, it may just kind of like squirt to life. We don't know what's going to happen here, but Bo Biddle will give it his best to get it started. And then a couple revs. We did warm it up beforehand. So... So instant, dude, you just barely touched the key. You just barely touched the key and it just yeah, like came alive. Right yes, that's I don't, a, I don't want to rev it right now. It's not quite you can rev it just a little bit, nothing crazy though. Yeah, there you go. This is a quick 1500 rev, nothing crazy. It's very responsive. That's dude, it sounds so cool. Dude. That thing sounds so, so exciting. Okay, can you, uh, are you ready to show Yeah, I'm ready to get into the interior here. Uh, I'm gonna go to the other around. side. Yeah. And then, uh, once you climb back in there so the folks can get an idea of scope of size. So this pretty much, this has, I this guess. This is a brand, uh, really new uh, houndstooth interior that they just had Looks redone. so cool. Uh, you can see the back seats look really amazing. Front seats as well uh really really cool man wow the seats are awesome bo and really i love the seating position that you have there I stick like is it. right there it looks you just look bo has got this constant ability to just look right in cars you just look like you fit perfectly in there i feel I, like my knees or my thighs would be against the steering wheel well i think you just got like plenty of room will, dude we'll slide back i'm just saying like your seating position it just looks great it's perfect uh, so, what'd you say, the Muncie four speed? Yeah, we got the, it's going through its own maintenance, so we gotta get the, uh, the, little, the little rubber boot. Rubber boot uh, will be thick. This car, this car is coming, it's on consignment, right, Bo Biddle? Um, actually, I'm not sure about that on this specific car. But it does have a few, it's being cycled in instead of being cycled out in a sense. Correct. It does have a few little things that they're gonna tune up. They do have a full yeah. 
service bay back in the midst of that building over there uh, to get these cars up to spec. And they have wow. the proper mechanics that know how to work on these things too, which is awesome. Ben, I don't want to get out. Yeah, it looks cozy. I'm gonna come around, kick you out of there, have you go open the hood, excuse me, and uh, check out your side here. Just the quick little normal thing. Door panels are quite hard, but they are seriously clean. Uh, great look at the dash. Uh, it's pretty much a timeless, timeless gauge setup. Really kind of cool. Get, see him get some sun flare out of your face there. Really, really awesome. I love the steering wheel too. Very simple. Clearly no airbag. Uh, great looking three pedal car. Four if you count the e-brake. But wow. Uh, let's get to the guts of it. They're pretty guts, Ben. They are. Wow. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's, that's amazing. I don't, I'm not much on a knowing exactly what I'm looking at, but I know that that looks kind of new, right? I mean, that, that looks like a new motor. What, what motor did you say was in here? That's a 383 stroker. Okay, so it's got plenty of power. Oh, yeah. Plenty of fun. It's so clean. Probably the biggest fan shroud I've ever seen. About the size of my hand. But what a car. So tell, do we have any numbers on this yes. thing? Like what mileage that? numbers or any of those kind uh, of things? It's kind of like 83,000, I think, is what the mileage was. Okay, so pretty reasonable yeah. considering it's significantly older. Uh, what You got a number? What's the number? Right, you're right about 43K, Ben. 40? Okay. That's not bad. No. He's going to double check, but. I'm going to tell you. This thing looks like it's. 43.9. So a uh, perfect car is going to fetch probably like 50 to 55, I think, but <clears throat> they still got a couple things to, to do. It's a beautiful fix. car, man. But, uh, so cool. I mean, we haven't really spent much time around these. This, yeah. it, this is a great look of car, man. Inside and out again with the brand new interior. We'll give you one quick more look at that with that hound's tooth look. Really awesome back and I mean, front seats. This car looks pretty close to perfect in my mind. I don't know a ton about muscle cars, but in terms of like the motor, like everything about this car is like clean. There's no rust. It's legit. Anywhere. Like, it's legit. I don't know how much nicer you can get than this thing. Well, yeah, without getting into the six figures, right? Without like nitpicking every single bolt and making sure, you know, every single speck of the car is perfect. I mean, this is a good running, driving version of this ride. Uh, and again, available from our friends at Vintage Planet. So I guess that's all we got. We don't want to take up too much of your day. Uh, Bo's going to get her all closed up. Y'all, the Vintage Planet's information has been on the screen. Hit those guys up if you do have interest in this ride. For my man, Bo Biddle, I am Ben Barber. We will see y'all in the next...